Now, coaches, we're going to talk about running through first base. One, the most important thing is to get your kids to actually run through first base. So many of them at a younger level will try and slow up or stop before the base. Teach them to run all the way through the base. We don't care what foot they hit it with. We just want them to hit the inside part or the front part of the base and then run all the way through it, break down, look for the ball in case the ball went past the first baseman. I'm going to move in and do a drill with the kids where I'm going to actually have them run through the base, break down, check for the ball. Ready? Go. Run through it, head up, running hard. Don't slow up, don't slow up. All the way through it, all the way through it. Break down, look for the ball. Good, good. Run through it, all the way hard, all the way hard. Hit the base all the way through it. Break down. Good, good job. Now let's talk about rounding the base and maybe making it to second or possibly having to come back. A couple things we'll talk about hitting on, on the rounding the base is making sure that they try and hit this part of the base, the up the base a little bit. We don't want to have them hit the inside corner. I've seen actually kids break their ankles because it's not that stable. We want to, again, go back to leads. They actually want to use this like a track block and push off and push off. So they'll come out, they'll round, and they'll try and hit that part of the base and push so they can get to second base. All right, we're going to practice this a little bit. Make sure if you have markers, use them. Put them out there, tell them to run towards it, and that's how they'll help them round the base. If you don't, just use a coach. Have them stand there. For example, I'm going to stand here, tell them to run towards me to make the round. This will help them not get too far out or too far in. It should give them the perfect practice, which should hopefully make the perfect play. Go ahead. You're running towards me, head up, running towards me, running inside of me. Now hit that part of the base. There you go, round, go. Try it again. Guys, big thing, keep your head up when you run, okay? We're always keeping our head up. Go ahead. Towards me, keep that head up. You're going to run right on the inside of me. Inside of me. Good job. Those are a couple things you want to think about when rounding first base. After they've rounded, now they're running towards second. We're going to move into talking about sliding into second. A couple fundamentals that you'll want to talk about when sliding into second, sliding into third, sliding into home. We're going to talk about the feet first slide first. We're going to do a feet first slide, okay? Feet first slide. All right, make sure you slide right on your backside. Your hands are not too high. They're about even with your chest and that you're not sitting straight up and you're not laying down. Let's try it. Go ahead. You're just going to slide right in there. Slide. Good, real good job. Coaches, Johnny did an example of a pop-up slide. He slid into the base and came right up. Sometimes that they can use that. Other times, your younger kids will just slide into the base and stay. Make sure, though, that you tell them, keep their foot on the base, keep their foot on the base, keep their foot on the base so they don't get tagged out. Good job. Go ahead. Go ahead. Feet first slide. You want to hit that edge of the base. Slide. Good. Right there, coaches. That was an example of a hook slide. Notice that the ball might have been thrown on the other side of the base, so he slid past it with his feet and put his hand on the base, uh, his left hand on the outside corner of the base so he wasn't tagged out. Good job. Jake, do a feet first slide right into the base. Go ahead. Slide right in there. Feet first. Good, very good. Notice, coaches, on that one, his foot went right into the base. He kept his foot on the base the whole time. His hands were not too high, were not too low. He slid right on his backside. That was a great job. Remember those points when we talk about sliding feet first. Remember, don't have their hands too high, not too low. Tell them not to sit up too straight, or you don't want them laying down flat. And that should help you guys learn a little bit about sliding feet first. Go. Good job. Coach, it's important when you do not have leads in your league. Talk about bent knees, good athletic position, your feet are on there like a starting block, and also your left foot is on the base. 
your left foot is on the base. That way they can see in towards home plate. Those will be a couple key points that you'll want to emphasize when talking to your young players. Now let's have a couple of the uh, players show us how to do it. Come on in, Tyler. So he's going to put the left foot on the base. He's going to be in a good athletic position, bent knees. He can see home plate. You can see home plate. You can see the pitcher. And when that ball crosses the plate or hits the catcher's mitt, whatever the rules may be in your league, he will take off. So you want to be in a good athletic position, and, and then you're going to take off. You're actually going to use the base as a push-off. Let's try it. Go ahead. Ready? Go. Good. Mark, come on up here. Notice, now you got your feet on the opposite side. See how it's harder to turn in? Yeah. Now look, there's home plate over there. You can see in. You can actually see when the ball crosses the plate. You're going to be in a good athletic position, like a starting block, and then you're going to take off. Ready? Go. Come on up. All right. Right there. Now you're going to be in a good. Look at, notice that his head's up. You can see the whole thing. When you take off, and run, okay, you want to keep your head up and look at second base. If I'm looking down, you're not going to know where second base is, okay? So when you take off and run, you want to keep your head up, looking right at the base. Again, a good athletic position. You're in like a starting block, okay? You're going to move your foot up a little bit. There you go, so you can push off it. Ready? Go. Good. Try this. Come on up here, Johnny. Good. All right. Notice, though, you don't want to be too far out in front because then it's going to take you a longer time to start. Put your feet together a little closer. There you go. Now bend your knees. Also notice, coaches, that when they take off, it's not they do not stand up first because that's wasted motion. You want to stay down in a good athletic position, take straight off. All right, get down there, good athletic position. You're going to take straight off, and what are you going to keep up? You're going to keep your head up. You're going to look at second base. Okay, ready? Go.